guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since I've done a video like this, but um, today I have a massive, massive haul of stuff that I've been buying over the um, recent times. I have a problem. I just realized as I was getting everything together, I have a problem, a big problem. I think I'm just going to start out with clothing. Um, I got a few things for Christmas, so we'll start with that. I got this shirt. Um, cute. And then I got a Doctor Who shirt because Doctor Who's great. I have another Doctor Who shirt, but I kind of hate it. Um, and it's old, so I'm glad I got a new one. And then I got this shirt, which I've actually been eyeing this. Um, just like this, and it's beautiful, and the only problem is I accidentally, I can sew it, so I, but I just, I accidentally ripped a hole in it. I really don't know how I did that, but I guess I'll just like finish with the stuff I got for Christmas. Um, I got this thing that I still need to put somewhere, I don't know where, but it just hangs on the wall, I guess. It's pineapple. It's real cute. And then I got this cute thing, notebook. It's great. And that's about it for Christmas because, um... got a new laptop and it's great because the one that I've been using the screen is falling off I think I'll just finish with the random stuff and then I'll get into the massive amount of makeup and various beauty items so I got one of those like um wax melters um I'll show you maybe if I feel like editing that in too but um I just got like a pineapple one it's like white. It's cute. Um, yeah, I've been getting like a bunch of these. So this one is like cappuccino and it smells disgusting. Don't know why I got it. At first I liked it, now I hate it. Then I got snickerdoodle. And then morning latte. So my room has been smelling so good. And then I got these, um, after Christmas, these always go on sale. I use these all year round. I have them all over my room. And I just use that as my normal light because I hate, um, like, my normal, like, ceiling light because it's too bright. Um, and I use them all year round. And they usually last from now until next Christmas, which is pretty good. Um, like, occasionally they'll, like, burn out and I'll have to, like, replace them. But got some extra. Not all of this stuff came from the same place. But I just went to Walmart, so I put it all in this bag. So I got the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I was using the Cetaphil Moisturizer, but that just hasn't been cutting it lately. So I just got this. Um, hopefully it works. I just put it on now, and my face feels soft, but you know. We'll see. And then I got Bior, um Strip Things. I've had some before that just didn't work. So maybe these might work if I actually follow the directions correctly. I have a problem with getting new like face washes and things, but then I don't follow through and use them. Got this at TJ Maxx. It's the Dr. Wellness Volcanic Ash Clay Mud Mask. I've tried this once and my skin felt like it was burning. So I don't know if I'm gonna try it again. Maybe, I'll just kinda test it, but um, yeah. I've only used it once. And then I got the Bior Free Your Pore Charcoal Deep Pore Cleanser. Um, I don't know if I've used this. I think I might have. See, I've been getting so many things that I don't really know what I've used and what I haven't. Just because, like, with face stuff, I'm like, I'm gonna have a good skincare routine, and then I get things, and I'm just like, never mind. I... I I used to have such a good skincare routine, but do you know what's funny? When I had one, my skin was a lot worse. And now that I don't, my skin is actually, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. 
And then I got the oil-free acne wash because occasionally my skin's like, I hate you. I got a brush cleaner because I've been meaning to get these just because I don't wash my brushes ever. So I thought this would kind of like, um, you know, motivate me to do that. So I got this at TJ Maxx and it came with like two of these things. These things are so good. They have like, see, you could probably just make this yourself with like something, but... Um, they're cute and they have like little things. Now I just need to get something to actually wash them with because I've been just using not what I should. I've been using the... That was not English. I've been using, um, Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser on that. I probably shouldn't use that, but you know. Whatever. I got some brushes. Um... Not all these came from this. I'm just putting it in here because I put everything in a bag. I didn't want them to get like, damaged. At TJ Maxx, I got some brushes. I got a, well they call this a smudge brush, but um, I don't buy it. <laughs> and then I got this eyeshadow brush. I've been wanting to try to do cut creases, but I just, I can't. So I thought this is a really um, kind of more dense brush. It's like a flat eyeshadow brush, but I thought maybe it might work for cut crease because it's so dense, you know? Um, we'll see. I suck at it, but we'll see. Then I got, um, a precision angled brush. This is not, this is not precision. Um, it is very thick. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Probably just like under eye stuff. I don't know. It's, it's not it's not flat. On Black Friday, I got the Morphe M310. Um, it's just a fan brush. And the first time I used it, I was kind of like, eh, about it. But, oh, oh my god. This is so good. The Morphe M310, if you're looking for a good fan brush. Um, I really don't know if it's working. I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me. I feel like it is working. It's the, um... What is the brand? Dialed Up Enhancing Brow Serum. It's just this thing. It's basically just an oil. Put it on your brows at night. And it's supposed to make them grow. Um, I don't know if my brows are getting thicker. I feel like they are. But I also feel like my mind's probably telling me they are. So. Um, I got Lipstick Queen. What is this in? Point of View maybe? Is that the color? I don't know. It's just an eyeliner, like a pen. Um, it's like a dark something. I really can't tell if this is blue or green and that's a problem. But, um, yeah, I like it. And then I've been getting a lot of NYX things. Um, so I got a Vivid Brights um, eyeliner. This is in Vivid Envy. It's just like a bright green. Um, I've been kind of, I've been mostly into um, like colored looks lately and I don't really know why. Um, but this is just like a, a bright green and it's great. I love it. Like lately for some reason I've been liking like brighter um, eyeshadow looks and I used to hate them so I don't really know what happened but they're fun. <laughs> and then I just got a white, because I didn't have a white. It's very opaque, which I was not expecting, actually. And then I got um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I had this before, but I used it up um, a couple years ago when I did um, the skeleton makeup. And then um, I got the Milani Powder... Oh, this is a powder foundation? Oh, see, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was just a powder. I didn't look at it. I just saw there was on clearance. This is in 01 Shell. Wow, it's a foundation. See, I just use it as a powder, like a setting powder. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it actually is. I mean, it, it's supposed to be, but I don't know if it'll... I guess I'll try it, but... Um, yeah, I've been just putting this over top of foundation. So we'll see. It was on clearance, so I got it. <laughs> 
Um, but I do really like it as a powder. I don't know if it's powder foundation. It's supposed to be, but it didn't seem that... It didn't seem to have that much, like that amount of coverage to be a powder foundation, so I'll try it on its on its own so to see. But um, and then I got the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Um, it's just like the smaller size, which I kind of hate myself for getting this because Benefit's not cruelty free. But you know, it's it's not orange. I got the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, I ran out of my Urban Decay primer potion, and then I was using the e.l.f. primer for a while, which I mean it worked, but um, I decided to try something else, so we'll see if, if that works. And then I got a NYX eyeshadow in Sex Kitten. It's like um, like a peachy kind of skin color tone. Um, it's nice. I have a lot of NYX single eyeshadows. And then I got the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow cream, but I don't like it. This is an espresso, and I it's not it's not good. I don't like it. I use the I just use an eyeliner for my eyebrows. Um, I mean today my eyebrows look awful. I use the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in coffee. Um, I like it better. I don't really don't really like this. They're basically, they're the same color pretty much, and I don't know, just the e.l.f. one, like, they're both e.l.f. The, um, brow cream, it's just, it's kind of too sheer almost. I don't know if it's just this one, because I've heard other people liking it, but, um, it just, it doesn't, you need a lot of product for it to work, for it to be as bold as that, because I like really bold eyebrows, so you need, like, a lot of product, because for some reason it comes off really sheer, so... So Stevie got me the Goddess Glam Eye and Cheek Palette by Tarte, and this shit, oh my god. I, see, I was eyeing this when I saw it, but I didn't, I didn't know, because I never swatched them, like, in store or anything, um, but they're so good, they're so good. I love it. I love them so much. And the packaging is beautiful. It came with the um, Lights Camera Lashes, which I have not tried yet, but I'm excited. I need a new mascara anyway, so hopefully I will fall in love. And then, the last thing, the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. I love this thing so much. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. So... I didn't used to be a highlight type of person. Um, if you look back at my old videos, I used to hate highlight. That is not the case anymore. Why am I slouching? Sorry, I've slouched so much this entire video, I am so sorry. Um, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for sticking around. I know I haven't been making videos, like, at all. Um, if you watch my last video, it kind of explains things. But I'm going to try to force myself to make videos because I love making videos so much. And I miss it a lot. I used to upload so frequently. And this last year, my channel has just gone downhill. <laughs> it's honestly, it just, it went to shit. And 2018, my 2018 resolution is to make my channel something again because I used to care a lot about quality videos and for some reason this year just kind of <sighs> was not that way like I care about my channel and everything and I love it and I love making videos it's just for a while um, it was really hard and I'm gonna try to get past that I'm gonna try to force myself to do it because I love making videos and I almost just knocked some things over I love making videos, and I miss it, so thank you to all of you who stayed subscribed, who, who stayed, <laughs> um, I love you guys so much. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next one, hopefully very soon. <laughs> mm, bye!